good morning good morning we are leaving las vegas um i believe it's neil's air force base we stayed here on their rv park which was called desert eagle rv park really nice the only thing like i've been saying hot 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 but we are i believe heading to albuquerque new mexico to our next destination we'll only be there overnight i think that's what we're going to say but our final destination is florida so however it looks the journey looks that's just how it's going to look i don't know if we're going to stop in new mexico i don't know if we're going to boondock somewhere but that's our um our plan is to stop in new mexico but we'll see All right, we made it here to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, you guys, what do y'all think about this weather that we have? Amazing. Amazing. Way better than, way better than Nevada. Yeah, way, way better than Nevada. than Nevada, yeah. That smoke you see is the barbecue grill. We got here and I immediately lit the grill so we can have some burgers, some chips, and we're going to chill for the rest of the night. How do you guys think the ride was? It was smooth. smooth. A little bumpy. bumpy. A little bumpy. bumpy, yeah, it was. It was. But, I was I tell you what, I tell you what, it's, it's a hundred percent difference uh, in the weather. I mean, the breeze is blowing right now. Right. It got to be at least 70, 76. I, it might be 80, like yeah, 80-ish. Yeah, uh, it don't feel yeah. like it. It but doesn't feel like it. Feel like it's 70 something. Mm -hmm. hey, look, get down, get down. But all right, we will see you guys in the morning as we go explore Albuquerque. It's out Good morning, got us checked in because last night we cooked those burgers and we were supposed to come by the front desk, even though nobody was here. We were supposed to come by and get the paperwork to have it filled out, but we didn't do it. The lady in the front was so nice, so sweet, um, helping me out with some information. What can we do locally? She put me on a, a couple of things. So the boys, what they really want to do is go bowling. That's their main thing. They want me to whoop their behinds again. So if they want it, I can give it to them. You know, get the people what they want. So I think we might go out to the zoo. Hopefully uh, it's not too um, hot that, you know, that we won't be able to go to the zoo. It feels pretty good compared to uh, Nevada. This is awesome compared to Nevada. So we're gonna see what they, what we can come up with and agree on where we wanna go.
go, Ethan. Oh, God. I can sit down. Come on, boys. Let's roll. Okay, we made it to the bowling alley. They have these pool tables, so uh, we're going to play some pool. And uh, here's the bowling alley right here. It's 12 lanes, so we have to wait about an hour and a half to even get a lane. I don't know if it's like some private party or, you know, business, but it's all good, though. We have time to spare because later me and but later me and Henry were going out to Albuquerque. So hopefully we can find some nice little places to go. are going out by ourselves right now. It's a couple of casinos that's in the area. So we're just gonna go out and probably go downtown Albuquerque. I like to see all the lights and everything. So we're probably gonna go down there. About, just about two or three casinos, not much. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna freestyle before we have to leave out in the morning. Right, like I used to tell my sons, it is night, night time. We are in from the casinos, me and Henry, we had a great time. And um, we have to get up in the morning to go to our next destination, somewhere in Texas. We're believing, that's where we'll stop at. Albuquerque was really great. Just a little bit that we were able to see. We had a great time. All right, we'll see you guys in the a.m. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for following us on this cross-country road trip. We are leaving Albuquerque, New Mexico, and our next stop, I believe, will be Colleen, Texas, to Fort Hood Army Base. And uh, we're pulling out right now from Albuquerque, and now we are going through the southern parts of the United States. So this road trip started off in Florida. Then we went across the United States to Portland, and so now we are coming back through the United States, but we're going through the southern states. So uh, it's a whole different climate, whole different terrain. And, you know, we're just exploring and just enjoying the road trip. Thank you guys for coming along with us. Let's get to Colleen. All right, you guys, we made it to Colleen, Texas, Fort Hood to their RV park. I'm not sure the name, but I will just put it down below. We had our friend come out and help us out, say it. Um, and uh, so far, so good. We had an awesome on-duty staff that was here. Mr. Scott. Yeah, Mr. Scott. He wasn't even on duty. He just seen us yep. pull in. That's true. And come around, because we was trying to find the, the spot where we were supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dark. Um, so he, you know, stopped what he was doing and gave us a hand. So he was yes. pretty nice. Yeah, we spoke for a while outside, just telling us about the area. And then um, our friend, he's been here for, what? Uh, since 2010. Since 2010, so he already knows knows the ins and outs or whatever. So we will see you guys tomorrow. We have some exciting things going on, things that we consider exciting. So um, just come along with us. Good morning, y'all know what time it is. We are up and swinging. It's afternoon time, but uh, we're just getting out. Got me some the buck of the star 
And now we're going to our friend's house. What? Now we're going to our friend's house uh, <laughs> to see his wife, to see our friends and the new baby that they have. And then we're going to go bowling. That's something we like doing. We're going to go bowling. Hopefully we can go fishing sometime while we're here. in the RV. Food was good. We went to Bubba's Pizza Burgers and Beer Restaurant. Had a good time. And now I'm going to lay down. See you guys in the morning. Hey, hey, we are up and swinging. You know what time it is. Today we're going to take you guys along with us on our fishing trip. We're going out with our homeboy said. He's going to put us on some fish. Hopefully. Hopefully he's not a buzzard. And, and, and we just out there hot and not catching any fish. So, uh, how'd you guys sleep last night? Good, fantastic. Good, 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 good. Ethan, you? Amazing. Amazing, good. All right. And I'm going to go try this place called Dutch Brothers. Dutch Bros. I'm pretty sure it's Dutch Brothers. I never had it before. I've been drinking Starbucks coffee on this trip. And um, all I get is one cup a day. The boys acting like I'm just... Oh my God, you started drinking coffee. It's just one cup a day. Calm down. So anyways, throwing shade on them. Back to what I was saying. I'm going to try this place called Dutch Brothers. Uh, we don't have one in Jacksonville that I know of. We might have one, but I don't, you know, do a lot of coffee anyways. So we're going to try them and uh, see how they taste. Well, I'm going to try them. So, um, got the Dutch Brothers coffee. I got a white chocolate mocha cold brew. And I got a white chocolate cold brew. And so, it doesn't taste like the white mocha, white chocolate mocha that I get from Starbucks. Because, um, I didn't add a lot of the stuff. Like, I should have added creamer and sugar to this. With Starbucks, it's nice and sweet. I don't have to ask for any extra creamer or sugar or whatever. I just get whipped cream to the top. So when I go back, I'm definitely going to get it, you know, with some cream and sugar just to kind of give me that sweet taste. The coffee tastes good, but I'm more like for the sweetness. I'm for the sweetness. So uh, hopefully I can go to this place again before we leave out of Texas because I don't know if it's any other D Dutch brothers anywhere else outside of um, Texas. I don't know, but I'm going to drink this though. I'm going to get my money's worth and drink it. Ethan, how you feeling out here? Good. How does the water feel to you, baby? Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful out here, very peaceful. What do you think? You think it's very peaceful? Yes, yes. Yeah. But we need to catch a, a peaceful fish or two. And I don't like, I don't mind the peace, but I'm gonna need some fish to go along with it. All right, we're done fishing for the day. The only person that caught something was Henry. And uh, our friend suggested, what'd you say, Henry? That's what I do. Take me anywhere. Anyways, uh, we're gonna, uh, our friend suggested to go to the water park. Since it's so hot, we can enjoy the weather outside. So that's what we're gonna do. I didn't bring that one bathing suit, not one. So I won't be getting inside the, 
the water park, the pool, because I'm not gonna buy one. I have several at home. I just, I'm not gonna do it. So let's head to the RV and then we're gonna go to the water park. All right, we had a change of plans. We did not go to the water park. It was closing right when we were pulling up. So we decided to go home, take a shower, tend to Lily. And so now we're at this restaurant called Black Bear. We're gonna go out, see how it is. We're meeting up with our friends and their family. And um, we'll take you guys with us. You know what time it is. Like I say, check. Read the room, check your surroundings. It is night, night time. We had a good time with our friends here in Texas, but it is time to go home. So we have one more stop that we're gonna make on this road trip. I think so, let me stop talking like I know for sure. God's gonna protect us, he's gonna see us home to Florida. I don't know how that's gonna look, so you guys stay tuned to see what we're gonna do next because I honestly don't know. Right, see y'all in the morning. Good morning, we are leaving Texas. Texas was really great to us. We had a good time. Hung out with some friends, went fishing, bowling. So it was, it was really good. So our next destination will be Louisiana. I, I'm still believing it's Louisiana. So just enjoy the ride with us. Got our GPS on, going to Louisiana. So if the plan doesn't change, we'll be in Louisiana. Our time says 4.33, but I'm pretty sure it'll be a little later. All right, everybody, we made it to New Orleans, Louisiana, and it is storming. It held off until we got everything hooked up. And as soon as we got everything leveled and hooked up, it came down. So I don't know if you can hear it or not because both of the uh, AC's on and the fan is on. So you probably can't hear all the rain and thundering, but it's, it's going down. So tonight I'm gonna just cook something or the boys might throw something in the microwave and we're gonna lay down. So tomorrow, hopefully it's no rain in sight. Then I'll be able to take you guys out and just show you around a little bit and then we'll be able to go out in uh, New Orleans and get to explore a little bit. All right, see you guys later. Good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. We are backed up right here. It's some boat house, um, boat houses right here. I believe this is a boat repair shop. I think that's what it says over there on the sign. Anyways, you got some little sailboats, center console boats, and the most important thing, boy, they got some water that we can fish in. Hopefully, hopefully we can go over here and do some fishing today. I just want to bring you guys out top of the morning just to show you what we're backed up to. They got me doing laundry again, y'all. A family of six, I'm really thinking about but not really. Open up a laundromat. And all I'm be doing is washing clothes, drying clothes, folding clothes, putting away clothes for folks. Because I do this one too many times. And then especially, especially being out of town, I guess because I'm spoiled, because I don't do laundry. My second son, Mikhail, he's over all the laundry. He does, he wash, he dries. And then we really just fold our clothes and put them away. Sorry about starting this off like that, but I'm mad. I'm tired of washing and I'm tired of folding up clothes. I'm tired of seeing dirty clothes. Oh, so that was just a little rant. But um, heading to the laundromat.
So I come in the laundromat and it is $2.50 per load and $3 for a heavy load. I gotta get home. <laughs> I gotta get out to the house. I gotta get to the house immediately. I was thinking they was gonna have some Samsung, uh, washer and dryer or something like that. No, but it's $2.50. I'm not complaining. Look at this. I'm gonna come out here and sit down. Look how beautiful this is. All right. I put my clothes down in the laundry and then the boys came to play corn husk outside. The boys came to play corn husk outside. And then we discovered the restaurant that's upstairs and then this awesome little game room that they have. It's really big. It is. It has two table of um, two pool tables and they have this little rolling score game. And they have like the little drink bar right here. A basketball hoop. Two dart dart boards. I was all pretty hold up on the side. Here we go. And they have this cool little sitting area. And it's a restaurant right through there, right down that hall. But um, yeah, it's really nice. So I told the boys, we really don't gotta go out for a long time to New Orleans today. If they didn't want to, we can kind of stay here and chill. This is the restrooms. And then the restaurant is right over there. I'll take you out there in a minute. But it's nice. Restrooms. Ooh, Restaurant connected to the game room and while I'm still washing clothes and everything we decided just to come over here and get us a bite to eat. They have a really um basic menu not a lot i like it i don't like to have to choose from so many things uh ethan what did you get to eat um, buffalo chicken buffalo chicken demarcus what did you get to eat i mean i, mean, I got seafood product with shrimp and catfish i mean buffalo wings buffalo wings okay Mikhail, what did you get to eat uh, i got these seafood product with shrimp fried shrimp fat man what did you get to eat or henry what did you get to eat the red beans and rice nice what about you get <laughs> And I got the uh, crab cakes and hush puppies. We're sitting here chilling. It's a nice little, nice little um, restaurant. It is nice and quiet. We don't know ones in here, but it's good stuff. We decided just to stay at the Army Park and just have fun here. I mean, we're going to be in New Orleans next year for the National Veteran Wheelchair Games. So, and it's so nice out here. We're just going to stay here, get up in the morning, get some beignets, go eat some some breakfast from um, the French Quarters. Then we're headed back to Florida. Got in from the pool. The boys are pool wasted. Now I'm gonna get ready to put these clothes up and we're gonna lay down for the day. Thank you guys for following us on this journey so far. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, it's time for them to lay down. Go Ethan, go Ethan. Hey, 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 we don't really care. It's not your birthday. You don't know nothing about 50? Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Do good night, y'all. Good morning, good morning. We are heading to a beignet shop that we usually go to a cafe and get beignets. We're gonna get some for us and then we're gonna get some for our family back home because they requested some. So we're excited. So as soon as we get these beignets, we are going to hook up the RV and we're gonna head back to Florida.
had a change of plans. We weren't able to get anything from the cafe that we usually go to. So I went to um, Cafe Beignet and we got some breakfast stuff for the kids and everything. So um, yeah, so I keep flashing that. That is a crawfish omelet with the grits. You can see the, the bread. And then I got um, a breakfast sandwich with bacon, cheese, eggs. Look good. Looks good, looks good. So we went here before and got the same thing. And we're gonna destroy it like we did last time. And I got a little small coffee. I'm gonna get some more. Getting everything squared away. I'm so proud of the boys. I really don't have to tell them to do much anymore. They just know what to do. And then they do it, so. The road trip is going good. We are, I believe we're in Mobile. We're coming up on Mobile, Alabama. So we have 300 and I think 56 more miles to go before we are in um, in Florida. Well, back home, I'll say that. So we're even closer to Florida than our 350 some something miles. everybody we all happy i might you might see it on me more than anybody maybe on henry but we just made it home we traveled to portland oregon it took us four days and that was 2960 miles something like that and then we took a, another road trip back home here to florida and that was over 3,000 miles with all of the stops that we took and everything else and the route that we took we had a great time and this is the end of this travel vlog and we just want to give a round of applause for Henry Daddy Sawyer. Woo -hoo -hoo. I think I am officially a truck driver. Bo you are bona fide, certified, dignified. He is a truck driver for real, for real. So um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. We look forward to uh, you guys watching our other videos as well and just getting to know us and living life with us, uh, seeing the goodness of God in our lives. And we just want to share the goodness of God with you guys. So thank you guys, and we will see you all on the next video. Peace. Peace. Why are you copying me?